Well, good, good morning. I'm probably scrambling over rocks on a beach in Anglesey, so I'm delivering the many notices that we have today uh, over video just to make this nice and short and clear. Um, firstly, we've got three forms for you to complete and we need them back by the 31st of October, please. Um, the first one I gave you about a month ago, that was your pledge form. Uh, that just helps us with planning for finance for the year. So if we could have those back for next week, please, that would be amazing. We've got connect groups, which I launched with you last week for those wanting to grow in discipleship through a new church small group. I want to clarify that connect groups are the new small group structure, taking the best of cell groups, the Bible study groups, fitting them into a slightly different structure. So if you could get those back for next week, that would be amazing. And then we've got the consultation, which is new to you today. We're having discussions at PCC around whether we keep one unified service uh, at the moment. That's at 10 o'clock or whether we go back to 9.15 and 10.45. At the moment, we don't have the volunteers uh, running the uh, there for the services to be able to do the two services we want to hear from you what do you think uh, what and most importantly what do you think God is saying so you've got a form that you'll have been given today please fill that in this week get it back to us next week and do you know what if you've got the internet you would save us loads of time in typing and administration if you'd use the form uh, that we've sent you through the news sheet if you don't if you haven't received that please contact the office this week and they'll send it out you can understand why that's not on our website so we need all these forms back by next uh, Sunday the 31st of October so that we can process the results and present them to PCC that's the forms okay so here we go quick fire we've got light night coming up next Sunday the 31st at 4 30 it's an alternative to Halloween uh, invite all the kids you know and love to come along to St Mark's be dressed as superheroes we try not to do the scary things uh, superheroes that would be fantastic um, Alpha starts on the 2nd of November. It's a 10 week course about the Christian faith, asking the big questions about life. James and I will be leading that and we'll be starting with putting at 7.30. There's a booking form online. Um, so if you can give us a heads up, that helps us know how much putting to get. But do you know what? If people just turn up, fantastic. Uh, we'll work it out. Um, we've got a bereavement service on the 7th of November at 3 p.m. You are so welcome to come and uh, uh, Remember before God a loved one, light a candle. Again, if you could let us know you're coming, that means your loved one is able to be read out within the service. Um, we have a formal, we've been invited to uh, or asked if we'd have a formal Remembrance Sunday service at one o'clock, as well as our usual service at 10 o'clock on Remembrance Sunday. So if you want a more formal Remembrance Sunday, we'll be doing that at one o'clock. The local council will be there. We may even have the mayor. Uh, and it could be quite an attractional event for lots of people locally who can't get to their town hall. And finally, two dates for the 20th of November. Wow, there's a lot today. We've got uh, for women. We encourage you to join the New Wines Women's Day, which is going to be amazing. More information in the new sheet. And secondly, a heads up um, of the date for the Tango Fair. So we're just asking, uh, uh, put it in your diary. Come and support the local uh, amazing mission project of St. Mark's. There we go. Three minutes 30. Over to you, Richard.